Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I'm going to test out a variation on the Orion carrier plane system where I was using it to carry a payload to orbit instead of the Orion space plane and that payload would be boosted in the final phase by a star stage 2 medium stage. I had uh, shown this before in a previous video where this stage uh, of course is able to return. It's a heat shield and it's got RCS and parachutes and it's got four Prometheus vacuum engines here. Uh, this, the goal of this was to make sure that it could get into orbit while the Orion carrier plane was still coasting in space so that we could jump back to the Orion carrier plane in time to make a safe landing. So it was sort of convenient that way. But there are deficiencies in the Orion carrier plane's design. If we can get it back to Cape Canaveral, and I've done it a few times, uh, where I got it back safely without using any jet engines or anything like that, then we could get rid of the substantial kerosene that we have in here, nearly 12 tons, and uh, it's actually 12,000 liters, you see, and the density of kerosene isn't quite one, but we have these engine pods and engines, uh, J58P4, that we could dump, so there's a lot we could get rid of, and I also thought that maybe I could chop off some of the wing, the reason why the wing is so big is to provide the drag so that when it does hit the atmosphere, it can slow down quickly. And But maybe reducing that drag would allow it to reduce the g-forces that it faces when it hits the atmosphere. That would extend its distance a bit more. So we're expecting if I chop the wing down that it will end up coasting further. So we might want to take that into consideration and also of course have a longer landing run uh, so there's that I don't also know if we really need these vertical stabilizers yeah, I think the V-tail might work just fine and the reason I'm thinking about these changes is not only to increase the payload capacity right now the payload capacity is 30 tons that we tested with but also maybe using the Orion carrier plane for other things uh, in combination with other Orion carrier planes. Maybe like two. If we put two together, uh, you could imagine a payload in the middle, but only if we're missing these two fins. And with the big wing, that might be cumbersome. But if we have a cut down wing, it might be a little bit easier to use it in a paired or multiple Orion carrier plane system. Uh, it does get a little bit ridiculous. The engines that we have down here are Raptor engines, and we have nine. But eventually, we would ask why I'm not just using a Super Heavy. And the answer is probably that, because planes are cooler. But anyway, uh, so I've already uh, come up with the cutdown system. So I will show you what that looks like. But I have not tested it yet. So you can see a much uh, slimmer wing. It is much less wingspan. Uh, same basic setup on top here, except now the payload is 35 tons. So we're trying to get 5 extra tons into orbit like this. We've cut down the wing, uh, we've taken off the jet engines, and we have eliminated the kerosene for the jet engines in that tank. Now that means it's got to be coming into the atmosphere faster potentially, um, and we have less ability to slow down. So, well, we'll see how this works. This might be a bad idea. I don't know. We are going to find out. So here we are at Brownsville, slash Boca Chica. Uh, this is, the distance from Brownsville to Cape Canaveral is practically ideal for this particular purpose. Uh, so we're taking off here and landing there. And of course, with Katniss Cape Canaveral and the runway provided by real launch sites, basically, we have a runway there, that's good. I also have a runway at uh, Edwards Place, but I don't really have a secondary runway except for the one that comes with the Kerbal Space Center anywhere else. Uh, so, but yeah, any other pair of locations isn't quite as ideal for this purpose. I've looked at them, and so this is just the best way to go. SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition of the nine Raptors, and launch. And the heading from Brownsville to the Cape is 75. Uh, maybe I didn't want roll. Oh, right. 
guess I want roll zero. Well, this is off to a wonderful start. I, I guess we're controlling upside down. I was not anticipating that, but okay. Uh, this silver section here is just structure. There's nothing going on there. There's no fuel or anything. Sure looks like a very thin wing like this, but again, this is mostly going to be an empty thing coming back down. So, in that respect, somewhat light. Well, I probably want some orbit info here. Throwing down a bit. I need to keep an eye on the pitch, as you can see. We will eventually get maxed out and need to turn off some engines, per usual. I think uh, I'll go with those now and start rolling. Well, that's high enough. Oh, 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 it's going a little bit weird. Uh, oh. Okay. Maybe it's best to shut off now. So, 3,900 orbital velocity. Separation. Um, I think that can get to orbit. Let's go ahead and go with the regular plan. Uh, so... This is gonna try and get to orbit quickly. Uh, fairing step. Boo. I should have just done that when it was staged. It was staged uh, on engine ignition, so. Alright, and go to pitch zero there. And shut down, 244 by 170. We've got enough to deorbit the stage and everything. So 35 tons, but now we have to jump back to that. And hopefully we can control it properly. Uh, it might glide too much. That's basically what I'm worried about. Oh no, that's not what I want. Okay, we're too far away. Are you to space? Your debris. Uh-oh. No, I want that one. Okay, well, we, we are still good. Shutting down every engine. I really don't need the food, water, and oxygen in there. Have crew, and we're not meant to have crew in this. It should be automated. Yeah, I feel like we're doing the first bounce off the atmosphere much closer to Cape Canaveral like this. A, I, G. Still seriously high G's. Still seems controlled, okay. Uh, that's a little bit high pitch. Yeah, we bounced up quite a lot. Can we slow down enough? Well, here we go, sliding back down again. Okay, we've got drag, finally. We've got no jet engines now. We just need to be able to do this. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and just point at the airstream. We're not doing a very good job of holding the nose up anyway. I I think I can use atmospheric autopilot at this point.
careful not to stall it. Runway is right there. I think we're doing well. It's still a fairly large vessel. 146 tons right now. The reason I had four fins before is because Fair Aerospace Research uh, dialogue in the SPH suggested that I needed that much uh, for yaw control at high Mach numbers. I didn't really notice the yaw being that detrimental previously, so. Time for locked view. That middle engine is annoying me with its gimbling. I don't know why my action group didn't happen to have its gimbling turned off as well. Eek. It's easier if you're in the cockpit than doing this, but uh, I can't be in the cockpit right now because I don't think there is a cockpit set up in this one since it's meant to be automated. But actually we can put Kerbals in, so I guess there was a, some sort of cockpit I put in. If we had Kerbals in, then I could check. Part of the reason this is working out with the small wing, of course, is because we dumped all the extra mass with the jet engines and all that business, too. I can't quite see the runway very well. Eek. What about a tail? Eek. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, fine. Brakes. A little bit early. There's always these bounces, too. I do have drag chutes available. Oh no, it bounced again. I gosh darn it. And it's gotta get Okay, what is this conspiracy where it really hates those little body flaps? Maybe I should just remove those. <laughs> They're supposed to protect the engines from the heat, of course. But yeah, it's taking some time uh, joyously ridding me of those. It always does that. I don't know why. It's a conspiracy. Okay, well. Yep, so that works, uh, amazingly enough. I once again thought it would take quite a lot more, but it seems my, my analysis has been correct. <laughs> Go figure. Yep, so a uh, slightly more optimized Orion carrier plane. Now 35 tons to low Earth orbit with that stage that is also recoverable. So that's pretty good. And with that, on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.